few bad things happen to me on stage <laughs> and it really is awful the thought of it the thought of it especially when you're in rehearsals or if you've just opened the thought of something going wrong is horrendous but actually when you get further into a run things bad things happen all the time but you're so confident with the role you can recover quite easily um, sometimes you just carry on the audience rarely know when you've made a mistake that's the beauty of it I've actually stood there frozen staring at another actor thinking he's not got his line or he's forgotten his line and I'm thinking dear me like this and then we got off stage and he said to me what happened and I said I know you forgot your line he went no you forgot your line <laughs> I was like oh I'm so sorry and I was in Mamma Mia in the, um, in the West End and I was right on the front of the stage. It was the finale and we all did a little uh, like eight counts of freestyle and I decided to do a double pirouette and I hit the deck. That was quite embarrassing. Our hair pieces fly off, all sorts, people passing it round. I'd say pretty young. I started dancing when I was about four or five. Absolutely loved musicals. Had singing lessons and then... I also had drama lessons, I did Lambda. Uh, so I don't know, it was kind of all in one. I, obviously I, I did um, A-levels and in theatre and then I went to train at London Studio Centre. So it was something that I was always aware I wanted to do. I always wanted to be on stage. So there was not a defining moment in terms of just being an actor. I always wanted to perform. So how do I learn my lines? I have a few techniques for line learning. I make sure I read through everything. I think it's very important to understand the lines. And you can, often if you get a good writer, then the lines just, they just go in and it's a joy to learn and it feels very natural. But if there's long passages, like for example, a monologue, <laughs> um, I often take my lines, so I will record all of my lines, including the other person's lines, if it's, if it's a, say if it's for TV, if it's a scene or something. And then I walk around the house or get on with my chores or go out shopping or if I'm driving in the car or on a train, I listen to it all and I, I make sure that I try and speak along with my lines so I always know what the other person's going to say so I can react, of course. I have a lot of people that inspire me acting-wise. Some people I've worked with, some people whose films I just enjoy um, and maybe some people who... You know, I really, I really like their sort of sense of humour. Victoria Wood and Julie Walters were massive inspirations for me when I was younger. I love that kind of humour. And I love Meryl Streep. I think she's such a versatile actress. She's so wonderful. She doesn't fall into that kind of dolly bird category. And she, she, isn't, she isn't the same in anything that she does. And I've seen her in interviews and she seems a very warm, normal person. It's just very, very gifted. Don't do it. No. I think I always say with acting, if there's anything else you can do, anything else that you love that you think you can do in life, do that. You kind of have to do acting if you love it more than anything and you're a little bit crazy. Because um, it is a strange lifestyle, but it is really reward rewarding and it is really wonderful. So I would say, firstly, don't pursue it unless you really think you can, you can do it or you really love it. Um, Get involved with as many things as you can locally, uh, either going to a college or being part of a drama group, all those kinds of things. Read lots of plays, read lots of theatre, go and see lots of theatre, watch you know, great movies and really think about what kind of an actor you want to be and what kind of work that you like. And try not to just be an actor that just gets given things and you learn those things and that's what you do. Try and explore yourself and find out who your favourite writers are, who your favourite directors are. My favourite meal, which is what I have when I go to restaurants, is fillet steak with dolphinoise potatoes and then any kind of veg or salad to go with and a Bernays sauce. Mm. 